hi guys and welcome back to my channel today's video is loosely based on diy so i will be doing an at home swab kit for joining the anthony nolan stem cell register anthony nolan is a charity that connects people with blood cancer to other complete strangers who are a stem cell match so here comes some science so stem cells are unique cells in the body that are capable of dividing themselves and then becoming specialised cells such as white blood cells. All other cells, tissues, bones, organs all develop from these stem cells. People with blood cancer and blood disorders means that they produce too many of these stem cells that are not fully developed and aren't functioning properly. So to help try and fix this, they need healthy stem cells from somebody who is a match. I'll link the website down below so you can have a look at all the other frequently asked questions and basically everything about stem cell donation that you need to know about. It costs nothing to join the register and if you are asked to donate, all your expenses will be covered, including loss of earnings, travel, accommodation, food. It's all covered by the charity. You only need to join one register once and your details will be added to a big central database that is managed by Anthony Nolan. So who can join the register? If you are aged between 16 and 30 and you are in good health, they are really keen on getting people who are fully committed to donating stem cells and bone marrow. They are particularly keen in recruiting young men as men make up currently only 18% of the register. They also need people from minority ethnic backgrounds, including African, African Caribbean, Asian, Chinese, Eastern European, Mediterranean and mixed race people. These people often have rarer tissue types, therefore it's even harder to find them a match. So what I've done so far is I've gone onto the Anthony Nolan website and I've completed their application form and they've reviewed it and they've approved it. So they have sent me my swab pack in the post. My next step is to complete this swab pack and send it back and I'll wait to see if they call me. So let's go ahead and do this. So this is what comes inside. So number one, you filled in the form, you ticked all the right boxes, you're ready to do a cheek swab. We need to collect some cheek cells using two swabs in this pack. This is so we can work out your tissue type and pop that information on our register. Follow these simple steps. Open the plastic packaging and take out a swab. Don't let the tip of the swab touch anything just yet. Open wide, firmly rub the tip of one of the swabs around the inside of both cheeks and in between the teeth and lips, top and bottom, for at least 30 seconds. Move the swab up and down and spin it around as you go. Put your swab securely at the bottom of this pack without the wrapper. It might still be a bit damp. And then step three at the bottom. Peel back this sticky tab and fasten the lid so no swabs can escape and then spin this pack around to find out where to send it. Once you're done swabbing both your cheeks, write the date, that's today, and the time, that's now, on the label below. Place this pack filled with your two swabs into the return envelope provided, no stamp needed, and pop it in the post. Job done. So I'm actually gonna take my watch off so I can time 30 seconds to make sure that I move it around enough. Thirty seconds. Okay, that's one. So they actually sent two extra swabs, I assume, just in case you accidentally do one wrong or you drop it or you let it touch something else. So those are actually spares. So now that my two swabs are in the bottom of here, I am going to peel off a bit of tape. Oh. 
fold it over, secure it down. I need to write today's date. Um, Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Friday the 22nd of July. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12.48pm. Pop it in the envelope. And pop that in the post. Easy as that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little unconventional on the DIY front. So I hope you found this video informative and I hope you think of joining if you are eligible to join. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see some more, more DIY based videos in the future, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you again next time. Bye.